Thursday of the 13th week in Ordinary Time, July 6, 2023 The Young Ambassadors for Christ Gospel Reflection, in Matthew 9 verses 1 to 8, we encounter a powerful story of healing and forgiveness. Jesus is approached by a paralyzed man who is brought to him on a mat. Recognizing the faith of those who brought the man, Jesus says to him, Take heart, son, your sins are forgiven. At this moment, the religious leaders present begin to question Jesus' authority to forgive sins, seeing it as blasphemy. Jesus, knowing their thoughts, responds by asking, which is easier, to say, your sins are forgiven, or to say, get up and walk. He then proceeds to heal the paralyzed man, commanding him to rise, take his mat, and go home. This passage invites us to reflect on the power of Jesus' forgiveness and healing. The physical healing of the paralyzed man serves as a visible sign of the profound spiritual healing that Jesus offers to all who come to him in faith. Through his act of forgiving the man's sins, Jesus demonstrates his divine authority and reveals himself as the Son of God. The paralyzed man's physical condition mirrors the spiritual condition of all humanity. We are all paralyzed by sin, unable to find true wholeness and restoration on our own. But just as Jesus saw the faith of the man and offered him forgiveness and healing, he does the same for us today. Jesus longs to heal us from the effects of sin and reconcile us with God. He invites us to bring our brokenness, our burdens, and our sins to him. When we approach him with faith, believing in his power to forgive and restore, he offers us the same words he spoke to the paralyzed man, take heart, your sins are forgiven. This passage reminds us that Jesus not only has the authority to heal our physical bodies but also to forgive our sins and restore our souls. It is a reminder of his boundless mercy and love for us. Christ is the only answer, always and forever. Let us remember that we can find true healing and forgiveness in Jesus alone. May we approach him in faith, allowing him to transform our lives and make us whole.